Hello and welcome to the video. Now, before we get absolutely started into this, this was going to make it be a 42 minute video, but instead of making it 42 minutes and making you rage to go and th look through the different areas, I'm gonna make this really simple. We're gonna separate this up into four parts. Not four equal parts, but four parts. It's going to be four separate interviews that I did with developers at PAX. Links to them will be in the description below, and if you wanna go check out their games, please do, because they do look like a lot of fun. By the way, this is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form by any of these companies or any of these developers. I thought it'd be good just to share their stuff, regardless of the fact. What is your game? Well, uh, our game is Astro Commander. We are an action RPG at our core. Uh, you can expect about 10 to 15 hours of solid gameplay from us. Single player experience, story driven, uh, really strong characters. Uh, we have three main modes of gameplay that we're going to show everybody. First level is actually our... Warship Combat, this is one of our in-game models that we printed so everybody can get a look and feel for them. These are completely modular in-game. Uh, in fact, right now we have about 780 different ships you can build completely customized. That's actually a lot. Yeah, it is, it is, and we're going for more. Uh, so under that, we also do Squadron Warplay, which uh, we take a lot of inspiration from Star Fox 64. So, you know, it's like on-rails, fixed camera, very cinematic vibes there. And, you know, personally, I feel like a game's not complete without at least a little bit of hack and slash, so uh, we have our third-person combat as well, too. So, yeah, we're here at PAX trying to show off our game for the first time. Uh, we're just a two-man team right now. Uh, we have a Kickstarter coming in October, so, you know, look out for that. If that goes well, we're going to bring on about 10 to 15 more developers, really round up the team, and then uh, by next year we'll have a solid demo to show you guys at PAX and a full game in 2026, so check it out. So, PAX West or PAX East next Both, year? Both, actually. Okay. We're going to PAX East first, and then, uh, of course, bring it back to PAX West because of how great you all have been to us here. So, you know, we, we, we got to represent the team. Got to be loyal. Absolutely. <laughs> so... Besides hack and slash, modular capabilities, what else are you looking for putting into the game besides all this? Yeah, well, uh, I'm a big RPG guy myself, so there's a lot of good RPG elements reminiscent of like Mass Effect, Fable, Fallout that we're really bringing to, bringing to uh, play here. Uh, one of my, uh, one, deep, one core detail I like is that we have a morality system, so kind of like Fable does, where you know good versus evil, the Paragon, good choices. Renegade. Exactly, exactly. But, but the twist on that is uh, you're actually a AI human cyborg who is infected with a techno virus that's slowly trying to take you over. So when you're more evil, you know, more cold and calculating in your decisions, the virus takes over more. When you're more humanitarian, more like, you know, a good person, humane, your human side comes back. So there's there's buffs that go along with that. So, you know, it becomes more than just a, oh, haha, I want to be good, I want to be evil. It actually plays into your play style as well. So, so you turn more robot as you get evil. Exactly, exactly. So you can more go full methodical. Terminator. Yeah, you can go more Terminator status, like, oh, I'm going to blow up this planet because it gives me what I want. Or you can go back to the human way. Way, you know, and just kind of be like a, you know, a good soul if you play that way. Personally, I prefer the evil playthroughs, but that's just me. Yeah, <laughs> I think blowing up a planet just to prove your point makes exactly it's very, very exactly. buoyant. A lot of, it, a lot it's, of it's cathartic, you know. Yes. And besides, it's a video game, we're not going to do it in real life, right? So we got to do it somewhere. So, yeah, they piss you off enough. I mean, just nuke them you're, exactly, you're good. exactly. Yeah, detonate the core, whatever. <laughs> so, besides all of the in game stuff is they're going to be I mean, cosmetics are a must in a lot of games. Oh, definitely, definitely. Like I said, we have about 780 uh, unique ship customizations. Uh, that includes skins, the ability to, uh, we have like kind of reminiscent of the old uh, modern warfare like emblem system. We have the ability for you to create your own logos as you like, kind of build your fleet to, to really, really speak to you and what you want, you know. Uh, we're doing it single player because that really allows us to control all of these elements and really build a nice story for you to play with. Uh, you know, I just want to bring back the days of, you know, rewarding players for exploring the map, you know, so it's like back to the days of Bethesda where, oh, there's this hard to place, re hard, uh, place to get to. Yeah. When you go, you're going to get something special from us, so. And yeah. is it just going to be ship co based cosmetics or are you going to be able to co cosmetic your player uh, as well? Player as well, actually. Yeah, if well. you watch our trailer, which will be on YouTube after PAX here, you'll see we have a character customizer, which includes a basic skin setting as well. All of our basic armors have the, you know, an RGB wheel, so you can kind of like, you know, paint whatever colors you want. Those kind of feed into the uh, LEDs of the suit. We're going for a really neon, kind of really bright, vibrant feel. So whatever you build as your commander is kind of what you'll see throughout your weapons, throughout your gear, and throughout other little details like your cybernetic eyes, all that kind of cool kind of stuff. So all of them, you know, are controllable by you to really customize your experience. And I think a lot of people are going to ask the question, is there going to be future cosmetics that are going to be pay-based? No, not in this version of the game. Not no, in this no. version of the game, The most we might do. Well, here's the thing. Uh, these days, everything's microtransactions. We're not looking yes. to do that. When we ship you the base game, it's going to be the game. You know, we might do DLC, but if we do, it's going to be a good one, solid content. And yeah, that will probably include new cosmetics based on kind of what we're doing. But we're not doing anything loot-based. We're not doing anything, you know, microtransactions and nothing like that. 
down the road we might do a PvP version, which we might include some kind of battle pass, but that's nowhere near on our uh, current trajectory. And if it was, it would be a completely different offshoot that uh, people would enjoy if they liked. So, so for, uh, yeah. One more question. With a lot of games nowadays, they have event-based in-game content. Yeah. Is that going to be a thing for you? No, we're not doing live service at all. This is completely out of the box, uh, single player experience. You know, you won't even need internet to play our game. It's just download it, play it, love it. Kind of like a Mass Effect or a, uh, 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 what's it called, an Elden Ring. Something like that. Kind of bring it back. I, I personally feel that's coming back right now. And I want it to come back. Like, I'm actually, you know, I'm a little behind because I've been working on this game. But I'm playing Cyberpunk right now. Ah. And my next is actually Elden Ring. So I'm really loving the fact that I'm back to a game like, okay, this is just my experience, you know. Where you pause when I pause. You yeah. know, play when I play. And no, th no sweaty 13-year-old you're making me feel like crap. So. <laughs> well... You know, sweaty 13-year-olds are what pushes a lot of games forward. It too. is. And it it's, is. It, it's sad that a lot of them do. Exactly. But you know what? Put on some deodorant, play Astro Commander, and we're good to go. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank hey, you. Man, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. We're All right. So that was the one of the main developers of Astro Commander itself. Uh, I did ask some very pointed questions. And I asked a lot of things that I'm curious to find out. I'm pretty sure a lot of other people would be as well. And... Let's hope that in the future we actually see a... We, we, hopefully we can see a great game come from them. It does look very interesting. It does give me some very Tron-like vibes as well with all the neon colors and bright lights and everything else. So uh, I hope we actually see something nice.